Hello geographers and welcome to this week's Geograph 3 and in today's video I'm going to share with you about revising for GCSE students. We're going to be looking at the use of AI in geography and we're also going to be looking at a very quick article that is just beautiful. It's about star-shaped um, sand on a beach in Japan kind of giving it away there. Anyway, let's get cracking. Um, so for those of you that don't know, the Job of Three is basically a newsletter that I send out every week from the Geography Teacher Box to Geography Teachers, just to give you something interesting, something useful, and hopefully a little bit different every week so that you can help feel invigorated in your teaching. So I will get started, first of all, if I just so first up, what I've got for you is a YouTube channel called Geography Case Studies. Now, I kind of drawn this to your attention because I don't know about you, but my GCSE students are getting a little bit fed up with the whole revision side of things that are going on. And I thought this was quite a nice way for students to maybe summarise their notes, a way to perhaps revisit certain case studies and so on. And what I really like about this channel is it's not just somebody um, kind of talking at students. It actually goes through through and make some notes in real time. So they're effectively like mind maps of all the different elements, mostly I would say of the AQA spec, um, but I imagine there's quite a few bits that cross over with other specifications as well. And what's particularly nice is there's even this one here, which looks at four, six and nine, nine mark questions in terms of what they would need to do and how to answer those sorts of um, questions on the exam. So hopefully that would be useful for some of your students. The other thing that I just wanted to talk to you briefly about is AI. Now it's everywhere at the moment, isn't it? In terms of chat GPT, there's all sorts of other ones. I think there's something called TeachMate AI out there as well now. Um, so one that's specifically geared towards helping teachers out. Um, but I thought if you wanted kind of a little way in that's not overwhelming and full of all the fluff and the arguments and the controversy that's going out, you might want to check out this blog from Kate Stockins. She's done quite a useful short piece um, that kind of signposts some other relevant articles and video clips that you might find useful. Um, so a super little starting point if you want to kind of dig into the world of AI and use it in geography education. Okay. Um, the other thing I was going to very quickly mention about Kate Stockings, I've noticed that she is also involved in a new project for Carousel. Um, I think Carousel is already a company that exists, but effectively um, they're launching a geography element of it. And they've got um, a webinar coming up on the 10th of May. And from what I can work out, it seems to me that Carousel is effectively a way of providing a huge question bank to facilitate retrieval practice. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I've not used it before, but I'd be interested to see what happens in that webinar. So if you head over to that link, you'll be able to sign up for that webinar for free. And so the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about very briefly is these wonderful things that have washed up on uh, Japanese beaches in Okinawa. Um, so these are effectively um, star-shaped shells that have washed up on the beach, but don't they look beautiful? So if nothing else, just something to make you smile and kind of look at the wonder, that is, of course, geography. Okay then, guys, so I'm going to stop there. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you want to subscribe to my newsletter, head over to my website. It's on www.thejeographyteacherbox.com and you will get all of this juicy goodness in an email every week to your inbox with all the uh, links included as well. Okay, bye for now.